We're following a big story at the Capitol. Barbed wire that stretched for blocks is coming down, but it's not gone for good. It's actually moving closer to Congress. Mike Valerio has more on the big change and how it impacts you. Just two hours after we learned fences surrounding St. John's Church were no more, teams removed blocks of barbed wire from this imposing Capitol fence. It was a surprise for the public and for members of Congress, including D.C. Representative Eleanor Holmes Norton. Tell me what, if anything, you've heard, what you think about all this. No, they've been operating on their own, and I've had to, to, I've had to put in a bill about that fence, but but I have to tell you, I think this is progress. She's talking about Capitol Police, which controls the fences, and her bill, which bans the barriers from becoming permanent. Here's what to expect. The old fence in red with its barbed wire is coming down, but a smaller fence in blue is now up. It's on the other side of 3rd Street, which will soon open to car traffic. What we are getting to, I hope, is all of the fence coming down. But this isn't a farewell to razor wire just yet. Capitol Police tell us the wire moved from the tall fence will just go to the smaller fence. The change in security posture comes ahead of March 4th, a date some QAnon supporters suggest returning to the Capitol. Norton says there's enough of a deterrent and... and if I may say so, uh, these people aren't coming back. They came because of Trump. They see the handwriting on the wall. It's time to get back to normal. At the Capitol, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9. What in the world is going on?